Our next guest is no stranger to relationship crossroads, and she's back to help other couples facing trouble in paradise. Please welcome the star of The Real Housewives of New York City, best-selling author and creator of The Skinny Girl Empire. And boy, an empire it is. Lord have mercy. My friend, Bethany Franklin. Hi, Hi Bethany. How are you? You know, when I saw you, I haven't seen you in a while. You really look amazing. Thank you. I'm really happy right now. I mean, I'm just, I'm going to be happy forever now, but I'm, I'm definitely happy. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided. And thank you for having me. No, no, no. I thought you were really cool. I thought we, we, we did really well together last time. I it's, agree. It's a balance, you know what I, I mean? I agree. So she's here. She's going to help us uh, with some decisions that some couples are facing. So let's meet our first couple, Chelsea and David. Chelsea, tell us what's going on. Well, I met David when I was working a summer job. He was my manager at the time. He was very career driven, cared about his health and his future. So I didn't hesitate to marry him five months later. Six years in, all that has changed. Um, he's still kind of motivated by his career, but his health motivation has dwindled to pretty much nothing. We have a nine month old son. And right now I'm afraid that if he keeps up on the way <laughs> the way that he's going right now, that I'll be a single mother raising my child myself. Wow. What's the biggest concern about his health? He's had um, colon cancer in his family. His older brother passed away a few years ago of colon cancer. He actually had cancerous polyps removed himself. That still didn't change his mindset to try to eat better or get healthier. He also had skin cancer removed from his shoulder, so he had two cancer scares, he won't go to the doctor unless I push him to go. So I feel like he doesn't even know if there's bigger health concerns out there. And right now, I'm basically just at my wits end. David, is this, is, is this true? Uh, for the most part, yeah. You know, I, I work hard throughout the day, and when I get home, I just want to relax, watch some TV. And then, you know, I don't necessarily feel like I want to work out uh, because you're just working hard. You're just your feet hurt and everything hurts and you just don't want to really work out. With my job, I can also do, uh, what's easy for me is fast food. Uh, oh instead God. of actually planning meals out and things like that, it's just easy to grab something on the go. Do you mind if I, how old are you? I'm 32. God, you're so young to like be on this path, but you can't be so chill about your health and your wife's obviously concerned about saying she's gonna raise her kid alone. I do see a lot of where she's coming from. It's just, you know, I, I kind of want to maintain, I'm kind of, with not going to the doctor as much as I probably should. Um, Is just... your marriage important to you? Yes. Because if yeah. I were married to you, I'd have serious problems and I would become distant from you because you seem so cavalier about what this. What should they do? You have to pull, you have to pull your <laughs> together. Sorry. I know it's a daytime show. You have to it's pull. Well, it's sorry. no longer daytime. No, <laughs> sorry. You ha... Sorry, I'm like in shock. You, you, you have Cancel. to like, like, I mean, listen, I wrote a book called I Suck at Relationships because, and because I've learned more from my mistakes than my successes. So it's not like I think I'm any kind of expert on anything, but I will say that it's definitely like a muscle and it will get atrophied and you can't just take a, a, a relationship for granted. And you're in the beginning. You have a nine month old baby. You guys are young. You have to do the work. Otherwise you're going to lose your family. You know, man, I was, I was gonna say something to you differently, but you, you, like she's pointed out, you have this cavalier, like, oh, it's just cancer, it's cool, I don't feel like it. Okay, man, what's, what's wrong with you? Did you, are, are you? Are you losing your mind here? Are you sitting over there and have just lost your rabbit ass mind? <laughs> You're 32 years old. Hey. She said they removed polyps, so I'm assuming you've had a colonoscopy. Yes. Yeah. Which I started getting at 50. Colon cancer is the one cancer that's preventable. And their wife is crying right now. And man, you, you gotta do something. The two most important commodities that we have as human beings is health and time. You don't give a damn about neither one. You're 32, you're gonna die. I don't, I don't know if that's registering with you. You're gonna die if you don't do something. And see, your kid has to see you be healthy too. You wanna set good examples. Kids copy every single thing you do. Everything. Yeah. So you gotta pay it forward. When you choose to have a child, you choose to make them more important for you. That is your legacy. So forgetting you, it's about your child. Absolutely. You gotta do something for your kid 
and for her. You can't tell people you love them as a man and don't do the things that demonstrate it. That gets old for women real fast. I love you, but then you don't back it up with nothing. That get real old with women, man. That get real also, old Also, with uh, intimacy, intimacy, when, you know, if you're, you're sluggish and you want your woman to be attracted to you, I mean, it, it just, like, bleeds into everything. So you got to pull it together. Are you going to pull it together? Well, honestly, you came here for a reason. You got in the car, you got dressed, not, you know, to be... I mean, it was important enough for her to, uh, to write in the show, so, I mean, I got to do something to... Come on, man. Let's we, get it done. We got to pull his feet to the fire. You got to get it done. Yeah. You got to get it done. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You're 32. You got a great life. We got to bring him back. You got to come back. With results. Are you okay, going we'll to come back? back. Yeah. You're going to come and back. And don't be looking the same, too. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs>